Welcome back to Squad Family TV. And on the latest news, Prince Harry says Brexit is a misogynistic term aimed at his wife Meghan. I'm finally grateful for Prince Harry addressing this. Every time you see British tabloids using the term Brexit as a derogatory term towards Meghan Markle, misogynistic towards Meghan Markle, they've never pretended not to be mistreating Meghan Markle or using derogatory terms to describe Meghan Markle's leaving the royal family. This term, Megxit, is a misogynistic term aimed at his wife, Meghan. The Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, says the term was created by a troll to describe their decision to quit royal duties, which was then amplified by the British tabloids. Now, Prince Harry has said the word Megxit used by the British press to describe the decision by him and his wife Meghan to quit their royal duties was a misogynistic term. He said the word was an example of online and media hatred. Maybe people know this and maybe they don't. But the term Megxit was or is a misogynistic term and was created by a troll amplified by royal correspondents and it grew and grew and grew into mainstream media. But it began with a troll, Harry said. Harry made the comments while speaking on a panel called the Internet Lie Machine, organized by US magazine Wired, at which he said that he told Twitter boss Jack Dorsey the day before the Capitol riots on 6 January that his platform was allowing a coup to be staged. That email was sent the day before, and then it happened, and I haven't heard from him since. Twitter, no wonder the fact that Twitter recommends incitement of hate against Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Why is Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey doing this to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Is it because of this email that was sent the day before the January insurrection, capital riots? We've seen a tremendous amount of hate towards Meghan Markle by British tabloids on Twitter, even amplifying the words of so-called derangers. The carnival of so-called experts have amplified the hateful content from derangers. And you can see the report by Christopher Bowsey showing the kinds of carnival of so-called experts responsible for amplifying the hate campaign towards Megan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry. And Prince Harry and Megan moved to California to live an independent life. Harry has said that part of the reason for their departure was the racist treatment of Megan, whose mother is black and whose father is white by the British tabloid media. And I'm glad for Prince Harry showing this because this needs to be shown. Everything that they have gone through at the hands of the racist British tabloids. We've been saying this, this here at Sussex Squad Family TV for quite a long, long time. They've been doing this for quite a long, long time. And they cannot be allowed to just keep getting away with this mistreatment. Prince Harry, Meghan are human beings. They don't deserve to be treated in the manner that they have been treated much less by British tabloids that harassed Prince Harry's mother to the point she lost her life in a tragic car accident running away from paparazzi. Now, a study released in October by social media analytics service Bot Sentinel identified 83 accounts on Twitter that it said were responsible for 70% of the hateful content, I repeat, hateful content and misinformation aimed at Meghan and Harry. Now, referring to the study, Harry said on Tuesday that perhaps the most disturbing part of this was the number of British journalists who were interacting with them and amplifying the lies. By the by the rejected the lies, these lies as truth. This carnival of so-called experts that you've seen in the report are the ones amplifying these lies against Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. 
They've been doing this for quite a long, long time. They avoid this hate campaign because they have never been able to stand the fact that their white prince, Prince Harry, fell in love with a mixed race woman. They've never been able to tolerate it. Never. Prince Harry loves his wife. And Prince Harry is the husband that Princess Diana did not have. And Princess Diana deserved. Now Harry and Meghan have since campaigned against social media negativity that they say is affecting people's mental health. Meghan Markle herself has gone on an interview with New York's deal book with Andrew Sorkin and said that there needs to be a disclaimer. British tabloids are toxic. They affect your mental health. There needs to be that kind of disclaimer as what happens with disclaimers on cigarettes. It needs to happen. We deserve this. This needs to happen and it needs to happen now. On Tuesday, Harry called misinformation a global humanitarian crisis. Speaking of his mother, Princess Diana, who died in a Paris car crash while being chased by paparazzi, Harry said, I learned from a very early age that the incentives of publishing are not necessarily aligned with the incentives of truth. I know the story all too well. I lost my mother to this self-manufactured rabidness. And obviously, I'm determined not to lose the mother of my children to the same thing. Now that is Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. I know the story. He knows what they do. We know what they do. We remember the Squad Family TV. We know what they do. Prince Harry lost his mother to this self-manufactured rabidness. And obviously I'm determined not to lose the mother to my children to the same thing. And he had to take his wife and child far, far away from these kinds of racism from the British tabloid, which are amplified by the so-called carnival of so-called experts. And Twitter endorses these kinds of behavior. They do this. No wonder hate accounts towards Prince Harry and Meghan are currently present. When you hear this private conversation between Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey and Prince Harry on January 6th insurrection, and Prince Harry has never heard of him ever since after what happened in the Capitol riots, you clearly see what Twitter does. No wonder we have these recommended hate channels towards us. I've been recommended this hate channel so many times. I'm not a racist. I don't want to be recommended hate channels by the so-called carnival of so-called experts and bigoted British tabloid gossips. I don't want that. And I'm so thankful that Meghan Markle has an amazing husband by the name Prince Harry, who loves her so much enough to protect his wife, son, and daughter from the British tabloids and the firm. Because make no mistake, the leaks... The, everything that Meghan Markle has had to experience come and arise directly from the firm and the British tabloids. They've done this to them. I was saying this today actually. I was tweeting and saying British tabloids after inciting hate towards Meghan, that is of Sussex. After doing all that, they campaigned actively went on national TV to say that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should strip, to be stripped of their security. And they were by the royal family after they had incited hate against them. First of all, they, th they incite hate against you. Then they take away your security after doing that to you. Now, Meghan Markle didn't have much security long before she joined the royal family. She didn't need it. I think Prince Harry, if he, if he was working even before meeting Meghan Markle. He wasn't working with too much security. Right? But now, there's a necessity for them to have so much security. There's a necessity for them to have so much security because of what the British tabloids have done to them. And I, as a member of the squad, will continue defending Prince Harry, protecting them from what I have seen.
happening to them on Twitter, on social media sites, from the British tabloids. And as Meghan Markle said, don't read the British tabloids. Don't, don't do that. It's toxic to your mental health. And I can honestly say it has bothered me a lot what Meghan Markle has had to endure. The things I have seen, human beings are not treated the way Meghan Markle, that is, has been treated. And that's why I even opened this YouTube channel to show support to Meghan after everything that she has been through. And I'm glad that right now, Meghan Markle is in a perfect mental headspace, as she said in the interview with Andrew Socking for New York Times. I'm glad to hear that. Leaving a toxic environment does wonders for you, clearly. Thank you so much, Meghan Markle. Thank you so much all for tuning in. Stay tuned for our next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. With so much love from Sasko Family TV.